क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the open chain structure of fructose and now in this topic i am going to talk about that is how to draw the cyclic structure of fructose so now let's get started so friends in this topic i am going to talk about that is how we can draw the cyclic structure of that is fructose but for that we must understand that is this structure that is what i am going to talk about is known as how projection formula so for that let me explain to you that is how we can draw the cyclic structure of the fructose or the howarth projection formula for the fructose so for that we should need the reference of the structure that is the open chain structure and that is for the fructose we could write that is ch2oh c double bond o and the last carbon atom it will consist of that is ch2oh but between carbon number 2 and carbon number 6 we could find there are three more that is carbon atoms where we can find that is the h is on the right hand side on the third carbon atom while the oh is on the left hand side and here also there is we could find that is the oh is on the right hand side and h is on the left hand side and here basically again there is oh on the right hand side and h on the left hand side so in this case let me give the numbering to this carbon atom so therefore this is carbon number 1 2 3 4 this is fifth one and this is the sixth one so here we have to form a cyclic structure for the fructose but we must understand that is the second carbon atom and the fifth carbon atoms oxygen will combine with each other so as to form a cyclic structure and this cyclic structure that is what i am going to draw later on it will be very much similar to that of the furan and which is nothing but it consists of an oxygen atom while the other members are nothing but those are carbon and here we could find that is there is presence of double bond so therefore this structure is nothing but it is known as furan so our cyclic structure of fructose is very much similar to that of the furan that's why the name of the fructose whenever it is in the form of a cyclic structure it is known as fructofuranose so we have to draw the structure of fructofuranose here so now let me explain you that is how we can draw it so here we are going to talk about to draw the structure of the fructose in a cyclic form so now let me discuss about this one that is we understand that is ch2oh that is the first carbon atom so to which basically the carbon is attached which is nothing but a carbonyl group so let me introduce in this way that is this is the carbonyl group so this is the first carbon atom this is the second carbon atom this is the third carbon atom this one would be the fourth this one would be the fifth and to fifth there is an attachment with ch2oh and here basically we can find that is the hydrogen on the third carbon atom it is on the right hand side so therefore i am representing it over here and the oh is on the left hand side so therefore i am representing over here and to the fourth carbon atom that is carbon number 1 2 3 and 4 where we could find that is the oh is on the right hand side on a open chain structure so therefore here i am representing oh here i am representing h and here also similarly i could represent that is oh here and h here but as i have mentioned earlier that is the fifth carbon atoms oxygen it will combine with that of the carbon atom which is nothing but the second carbon atom of the fructose and which is nothing but it is having a carbon group and this hydrogen it will combine to this oxygen atom so thereby we could get a cyclic structure which is very much similar to that of the furan and for that let me draw the structure here where we could find that is this is the oxygen atom i'm representing over here so this is connected to the carbon atom that is the second carbon atom and the second carbon atom is connected to that is ch2oh it is forming a bond with ch2oh and this second carbon atom is bonded with the third carbon atom where we could find that is the h is on the lower side and oh is on the upper side now this is the fourth carbon atom to which basically the oh is attached here and hydrogen is attached here this is the fifth carbon atom and to the fifth carbon atom we can find that is ch2oh is also attached so let me represent it here that is ch2oh and this is the hydrogen that is what i am making the structure to form in this manner and this oxygen atom is what 
it is of the fifth carbon atom and it is been combined here so talking about this hydrogen if this hydrogen is combined with this anomeric carbon atom and if this OH which is attached to this carbon atom, obviously the anomeric carbon atom, if the OH is attached downwards then we could find that is this could be called as alpha fructo furanose or else suppose if you could find that is the OH is on the upper side and the CH2OH is on the lower side then this would be called as beta fructofurinose. So therefore this is how basically we can draw the structure of the cyclic structure for the furinose and that is nothing but the whole position formula of fructofurinose and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.